A pair of Seminoles ended their Florida State careers on Friday afternoon with All-American honors as Dentarius Locke took home second place in the 100 meter and James Harris finished sixth in the 400 meter here at Historic Hayward Field for the 2014 Outdoor Track and Field National Championships. They did a great job. I mean, James, you know, he's hurting pretty bad right now because he went for the win, had the lead at 300 meters, and it just, you know, all year long we've tried to get him to get out faster, get to the front, because he finishes so well. And uh, he got after it, and I'm proud of him. The same thing with Locke, he ran his best race that he could, just a little bit behind the, the Baylor kid at the start, ran him down, ran out of track. You know, another 10 meters, he probably wins that, but did a great job. Just a close finish. I mean, you can't you know, ask for too much. You know, I went out there, tried my best. As you can see, it was very tight. It's all mental. You gotta, you gotta go out there and focus on just you. So uh, I think I went out there and did that. Uh, you know, there's always room to improve. Uh, felt like uh, kind of, you know, rushed it a little bit at the end, but the race was close the whole way, you know, so can't, can't complain either way. I didn't execute the whole race like I felt I should have, but still a pretty good run and with an excellent feel. I mean, I think like first, well, I think everybody in that race just went 45, and I think the slow, slowest time was like 45, 80. Something like that, so it was a real good field, close pack race. Uh, those two seniors just did so much for our program, and we're gonna hurt losing that leadership and the great people that they are as well, but uh, you know, they set the example, they're both gonna be around the train with our kids, um, they're both gonna be finishing school and being Seminoles, at least in the classroom for one more year. So I'm really proud of them, did a great job, put some big points on the board, let's see if that'll hold up for a good score. And I wanna be, be known as the as the one that you know went out there and didn't really talk too much you know went out there and had a crazy warm up as always you know but went out there and and went out there and did what I planned to do you know so it went great for me you know there's a lot of things that happened I've I've set out two years when at Tennessee when at FSU so um, for me to get my second consecutive year running uh, it feels great you know to be All American two times and also national champ indoors so I feel blessed and honored you know to be in Seminole. Well, I want when people look back and think about James Harris as a Seminole. I want to say. That guy, he, he was unique because, I mean, as I got in the blocks, I heard him talking about, oh man, that's the high jumper, that's the high jumper. And I mean, it just put a smile on my face, just being able to compete at this type of level in two different events. So I just want everybody to know that I put my all in it, and if they take anything from me, it's to every time you go out, never take it for granted. The final day of the championships will star the women as the 4x100 meter relay team, Lyndon Hall in the mile, and Anne Zagre in the 100 meter hurdles, all take to the track looking to take home All-American honors as well. That'll wrap up things for now from Historic Hayward Field, LaneHurtSeminoles.com.